Alright, today, I will be teaching everybody how to do basic to slightly better redstone on this world. Fuck my phone. Oh, shit. Already getting picked. Alright, we'll fucking turn all the notifications off to start the stream off. That's how we're gonna start this off. Alright. Cool. So, we're gonna spawn in the redstone world here. and gonna go through every single basic thing. Going to more advanced things. Why? Because I'm bored and Denison isn't streaming. Alright, so, you all know how fucking redstone works by now, right? Like, most people don't know a comparator, and I will be explaining stuff like that. If you don't know how redstone works, then here I am to go through everything basic to slightly more extreme stuff. Yeah. So, I didn't even fucking get redstone dust. Alright, how redstone works. It's very simple, really. You take a bit of redstone, and you take any source of power to power it. Now, most sources only give up to 15 blocks, so you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And if we go 16, if you watch, the last one will not get powered. You can show how how much power it's got by how bright and how it, it is, yeah. So that's a button. It quickly gives out a pulse of 15. That's what this is called, the pulse, for a short amount of time. Now, I will explain later how to make buttons into basically levers. And there's other ways to power redstone, like pressure plate. When you stand on it, it'll stay powered. You get off, it won't. Pretty sure everybody knows that by now. There are things like target blocks when you shoot it. I don't have a bow on me, but you know, let's also leave this. When you shoot it, it'll power up. And then there's levers which you can just hold and it'll infinitely flick it off. And then there's my mother being stupid. Mom, shut up! I'm fucking. This is why I close my door. <sighs> being weird. Alright, what we need is string. I'm pretty sure that tripwires are, yeah, they're mostly good for traps, but you can have a couple other uses with it, if you know what you're doing with it. It's like a pressure plate, but like invisible, and it should give out power at this block, but it isn't. Probably because it's piston. But that's the gist of it. That's, that's basically how redstone works, but there is more to it. See, you can do other things like a piston, which in bedrock this will go that way, but if it was in Java it'd only stay straight. Which with a button you can power for a bit, or power off. Pressure plate. There's other things like redstone blocks. And yeah, that's basically that basic stuff. But there is one more thing we can do. Notice how redstone stops after a certain point. Uh, here, oh yeah, pressure plates can also work by throwing an item on it if it's a wooden. It stops after a certain amount of time, which is here. Look, piston does not get powered, but this is what a repeater can be used for. It will extend the signal by 15, and what I can do is you can put delays on it, so when you power it off, a couple seconds later, then that will get unpowered and watch. Takes two seconds to like let the input go through and then it'll let it out the other way. I'm pretty sure everybody fucking knows this at this point, but just explaining it real quick. Now what we really need to explain is what most people don't get is comparators. This beautiful thing that gets used a lot in the redstone community. Like a lot. Uh, what else do we need? Uh yeah, I'll explain the difference between those two. How it basically works is, well, the same as everything else. It'll give out a pulse of 15, but it's depending on certain things, like how many items are in this hopper. Yeah, let me get some more redstone dust. Just put it out a bit, like, up to here. See, currently nothing in it. doesn't give out anything. We put one item in it, it'll give out a pulse of one. Two. Nothing. You need to, like, really fill it up. Yeah, you get the gist of it. The more items that are in this, the more it will get powered. 
And if you flick that on, I'm not entirely sure what that does. If I'm being honest, I don't know. Now, observers are also kind of like this. Except instead of how many things are in a chest, it just detects when things are in front of it. So, I place a block, it'll give out an output here. Quick output, and it's instant. Now, what people like to do with observers is put two next to each other, so they're constantly detecting each other. See, this one detected this being placed, and this one then detected that detecting it, so it just constantly keeps detecting each other, giving out an infinite signal. Of 15, of course, it will stop at 15 blocks. But then again, you could always put a repeater on it. Ah, yes, and a comparator can also, not only with the... Uh, this is what it's also used for. It can't just be done for chess. Whatever, instead of just... Like a repeater, instead of just making pulling out a 15 pulse, it'll do however much range this pulse has. So, because it's a 15 pulse, it will give out a 15 pulse. If it was set into this. Oh wait, maybe it's because it's repeating. But it's basically a repeater, but whatever the pulse going into it, that's how much it'll spirit out. That's basically everything, but there is a different- there's one more thing I want to explain real quick before we get into slightly more stuff. Is the difference between drop- dispensers and droppers. Now, let's just use a trident for example. We put a trident in here, to get the lever out, and in here, alright, when we press this one it'll shoot it out. But that shoots it out as an item, and that's just the difference between these two. Now, I think it's about time we get to explaining how the button. We can turn it into a lever. So, as we can see, turns on lamp, turns off lamp instantly. But with this, it keeps it on. And see the usage of the comparator there. How it works is basically... It shoots the items between these dispensers, and when it lands in this... so. Droppers, I mean, it goes from this up here, and because this activates at the same time as the redstone range, this will shoot it up, then this will shoot it up, and this will just put it in here, and it will stay there. Because that item's in there, this comparator will detect it and give out a redstone signal. Currently, it's in here, so it's not giving out anything, but when we press it, it'll shoot around into here and keep it on. Because there's an item in there, and when you do it again, it just moves it into here, so it's off. So now it stays on, even though the button's pressed out. Turn it off. Brilliant. That's how we get a button to work like a lever. Now, why would you want this? Simple, because buttons look way fucking cooler than levers. Like, look, could you imagine? Like, and they have a lot more use than levers, because, like, if I put down a lever there, I'd have to flick it off and run through, or send it to a timer. With a button, you just tap it, it opens up, and it'll press back out, and then you can just have another button on the other side. Very simple. Now it's time to get explaining piston doors, which is using a different multitude of redstones to make pistons work. Now this is the most basicest piston door you can ever have. Pressure plates. Very, very fucking simple. Here's how it works, right? Two sticky pistons facing in. I should probably just start building it from scratch actually so I can explain it a little bit better. Yeah, that's what I'll do, okay? Okay, just, just for you guys, I'll start building it from scratch. And what we'll need is a bit of that. Now, you can use other things in the pressure place, but that's what people tend to use for the, this type of door. Here's how it works. Basically, two pistons here. Two blocks away. One more block away. There, and then when these are pushed in, this will go into like a four shape here. There we go. And how they turn on is redstone torch. As we know, it gives them a constant output. It's basically like a lever, but constant. But it can be turned off, you see. When we put redstone into the block it's on, it's turned off. And when we put a block above it, it puts redstone into this block, like redstone signal, which powers this one. Do the same on the other side. Boom, now we have this. Now if we put two pressure plates, let's say about there. We put redstone underneath, because yes, it powers redstone underneath it. Insane. 
And then we just bring this redstone over to by here. Do the same on the other side. And then boom. Then all you have to do is with those two red those pressure plates there, two more over here, and do the exact same thing. Just plug redstone into it. Very simple, really. This is the most basic door you can get. There's nothing more simple. If you don't understand this, you may as well stop trying to learn redstone. Now, I'm not saying you should quit, but like, if you seriously don't understand this, then I don't know how to explain it any further. If you know the basics of how these work, then you should know that power goes into here, power goes into block, turning off that, pushes pistons back. So when you stand on it, they both get pulled back, you can just run through, and then when you step off, they close. But the issue is, with these, you have to build like a wall outside of it to cover up the pistons. Now that just looks gross. But there is a way to make it so it's indented into your wall with a flush door. See how the door could just be built like that and you can build it into the door. You don't have to like push the door out one like this. So it looks all ugly. No, no, no. You could just have it flat onto the door. And how it works is, well, I'll start building one now, if I remember. <laughs> Alright, so it should work like this. You build three high with a roof over it, go out three, then do it on the other side. I should, I, I hope I'm right about this because. Uh, okay. Would that be like that? Yes, okay. So put three pistons like this in a weird thing. And then put whatever door block you're having here. So how it will work is a uh, redstone signal will push these two out first. So they'll push the block and the other piston forward. Make sure they're all sticky, because that's kind of how it retracts. And then what you want to do is have like a delay so these push forward. So how what would happen is these two will get pushed forward, and then the blocks will get pushed forward into the door. How do we get the bomb off the door? That's simple. Simple, easy stuff. Pistons blocks on top and we'll hook up redstone to that in a bit So basically line of redstone here two redstone here actually uh, Repeaters make sure they're on four tick because that's where the delay comes in Remember how I explain repeat delay and then boom Simple as that that's how you get these top ones working and for the bottoms you just hook up this redstone to it and how this works is uh, so activate first Bit of delay and then these will get activated to push that in. So then these two get pushed in underneath this redstone. So when they're underneath there, they'll be turned on. And if I'm correct about this, see that? Boom, that's top. We'll do bottom half now. Perfect. Most second most basic door because it has repeat time, so that's what makes it less basic. And then, well, there is one little thing. We could we could just pill it down, or if you're smart, there's a little trick in redstone that uh. All right, let me explain something real quick. So you know how you get a staircase like this, so you can have redstone going up it. Oh yeah, it stops working when you do this. See how it disconnected? It's because there's a block in the way. But if you, it doesn't do that with glass. So basically. Most people, including myself, didn't know this for a while, but you can literally just get vertical redstone by going like this. Fucking vertical redstone. Very good. Very useful. For a times like the Fuck. Who is this? He started a voice chat with me. Who is he? Fucking immediately straight into visitor mode. I don't trust it. The Joker. I feel like he's he's a troll, man. He started a voice chat with me just a second ago. I didn't join. Uh, Alright. He's being all nice, but I've left him in visitor mode. I don't fucking care. Alright. Uh, you take this redstone, put it down here. Shoot, I messed up. Like so. Then what you can do is just bring it down to these pistons. Simple. 
simple shit, innit? And then you just fit into those two pistons. So now everything should be connected up. And the only thing you have to do from here is... Hold on. Hold on. And then boom. Now you're probably like, how the actual fuck do we shut it? Well, that's simple. You wanna put the redstone torch here. Redstone going into it. And then simple. Lee. Simple Lee. Lever. See how it turns to redstone? Remember how I mentioned? If you put redstone signal into a block, the uh, redstone torch it turns it off. And that's how you get the opening and closing of it. Very basic. Do you leave? Alright, I'm gonna ask him, does he mind? <sighs> Alright. This stream's gonna have to get halted for a bit just to, sh just to ask for this guy. I think he's messing with my doors. Alright, cool. Alright, we're gonna join this VC with him. Yo. So, uh, basically my stream is gonna be explaining how redstone work. I went over the basics and how to make simple doors. And now I'm gonna get to uh, slightly more harder stuff to make, like, these bigger doors here. I explained. Thank you, thank you. Uh, basically what this contraption does right here is makes a button into a lever. Look, look how a button works. Goes off. And this keeps as a lever. It still stays on even though the button's pressed out. Then you can toggle it off. And that's what I've been using on all these doors. Basically, I put that contraption underneath the door and connecting the button to it. Well, you... Alright, just don't break anything. You're... You're... Just don't break anything, please. I spent a lot of time on this. After I lost my original redstone world, this is what I've been working with. Now, I... Uh, chat, I can Do you what? Oh. Oh wait, you're still a visitor? What the hell? There, yeah, remember. Yeah, I... Alright, chat, I can't really explain how to build this, because I kind of did use a tutorial, like, somebody's got to learn from anywhere. And I don't really remember how to build it. There's only like two doors I remember off by heart, and that's like this and the other, those other two. So this one's pretty simple to build, actually. It may, it may not look simple with all this fucking redstone and shit. But when you know what you're doing, it is quite simple. So after explaining those two doors, I'm gonna go up to explain my auto storage sorter up here. It's using comparators and hoppers, which I haven't really explained hoppers, but fucking everyone knows how hoppers works. But what most people don't know is that you can lock them with redstone. Yeah, good. <laughs> I don't want you to. I've got a mob farm here that I'm trying to show the chat, so if you killed them all, then that's just not going to be cool. You can hear all the zombies dying. Alright, how it works, chat, is all these, see how that one just went off, all these redstone torches are connected to these hoppers, which stops them from putting items into these chests, and you're like, well, why the autistic fuck would you want that to happen? Simple. These hoppers have the perfect amount of items to stop anything from going through, unless it's one of the two in there. So when a rotten flesh goes through, only one goes through instead of this one going through as well. How it works is when one extra item goes in, it gives out an extra redstone pulse through the comparators, which turns these off and allows one item to go through here at a time. And basically, if three or four rotten flesh go into here, it'll collect it all and then slowly filter it all besides this one, and that's how you make it so it only sorts that one item. Sometimes it doesn't work if it's too fast, like I'll end up getting rotten flesh in this chest, and how it works, yeah. Pretty much like that. And they were sorted to each chest. Oh, I'm- look up. You should see her. This- this is a giant mob farm. You got the bottom, middle, top, and then these two connected down to the middle one. 
What do you know about redstone? I can start teaching you. I mean, I am on the stream right now teaching redstone. But so the mob farms all connected. They all drop down here and get burned. And, uh, yeah, for the chat, and you, I guess, hoppers can actually collect items through half slabs. And those fireplaces... Yeah, this, yeah. They all die, and because, uh, hoppers can collect through half slabs, and fireplaces count as half slabs, they all put it into this chest, to get filled into this old dispenser that'll constantly fire it out, and it'll get organized. Automatically. Very cool. I don't... Uh, yeah. Now, most of these doors I can't remember how to build off by heart. Actually, just the 2x2 two two and 3x4x4. Three by, by four. No, 3x3 three three and 4x4. Four four. I don't remember how to build these off by heart. What? What a little project. I think I see you. Oh, the house. Uh, yeah, that was just a random build I was doing. Because my sister was bored on the world, so I was like, whatever, we should build a house. I just stopped building it after she left. Just kind of just left it like this. Looks pretty good. Yeah, uh, what do you think of this, though? This design with the yin and yang on the giant door. The yin-yang symbol. And this is a 6 by 6 and what? I haven't put a button on the other side yet, but I might. Yeah, I'll open it back up. Most of these doors are actually spam friendly, so you can't really spam it because the button. Do not touch any of those repeaters. The timings are specific. Oh, my mother's calling me. I could probably build this off by heart, like repeater timings and all, because I built it in survival mode and it, it wasn't too hard. Now I'm gonna mute, uh, entertain the chat while I go see what my mother wants. Dream SMP reference! Dream SMB reference, oh my god, dude, it's Dream SMB reference. Now, I was cons I just left this big space open. I could build a 5x5 five five here, because I got the 2x2, 2x2 two two, two two flush, 3x3, three 4x4, three, four four, and went straight to the 6x6 six six and make a 5x5. Five five. Yeah, by the way, guys, if you want to... If you want a better explanation than what I'm doing, because I, I kind of use tutorials as well, the one guy I've used for every single one of these doors, who does it on Bedrock Edition, which is very rare, not many YouTubers do redstone tutorials on Bedrock, is uh, Curry Kane. That's his name, and he, he's a pretty good YouTuber, not gonna lie. A lot more subs than me, so. That's my phone going off. Uh, do you know how to get vertical redstone? So like, yeah, I'll show you now. I'll explain it a couple ways. So notice how you can't just uh put you can't you can't you can't just put redstone on the wall here. You 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 are forced you're forced to do a staircase. But if you put a block here, and it just stops the redstone flow. But did you know if you use glass, well this could be normal blocks, but. Yeah, so like this, but it blocks it off. If you use glass, notice how the glass doesn't block it off. I, I think it's because glass is a transparent block. And you can kind of just do this infinitely. And then break these ones so it's kind of like a zipper. And then you can just... And that's vertical redstone. <laughs> And that's how most of these designs work. They use vertical redstone to connect it all these modules up. Basically, as long as you remember the bottom module, copy that two times over, then connect it up with vertical redstone, then hook it up to this little system, and that's how you get the little like shutter bit at the end here when you're opening it. See, so it pulls in twice, and then it goes like a zipper shutter thing. That's how you get that with those observers. 
Oh my god, my mother's calling me again. See, look at the observers. Look at the observers. Yes. Hold on. Alright, there's one more thing, uh, there's another thing I want to explain. Do you know how command blocks work? How the pro- Oh, for fuck's sake. Hold on, my mum wants to come and see something. You, you know what to do. do. Do the thing, do the thing. I'm back. Um, right, you know how the dinner bone thing works? That little Easter egg where you name any mob dinner bone and it goes upside down? You know how command blocks work? It's like when you enter a command in the chat, it happens, but you can do that with a block. Anyway, name a mob dinner bone with this name tag and use the sandville. Notice how there's a repeating command block underneath it? It's an anvil here. <coughs> There's just a sheet behind you. No. Did you name that thing dinner bone? You gotta change it in here. Um, you put... Uh, yeah. Capital D. D-I-N-N. Your bone, one word. And yeah, while command blocks count as redstone and they can be altered by redstone, I'm not explaining command blocks. <laughs> but yeah, you could, you could do shit like that. So it counts. I, I I made it so anything named Dinabo within range of that command block will just get levitation. Yes, any mob. Ugh. Alright, do you want to watch me build this redstone door from scratch? Yeah, but I personally used a tutorial called Cur by a guy called Curricane. He does many good bedrock tutorials. Alright, what else would we need? Redstone. Alright, I'm going to just slash kill everything. Or could you do it? Actually, no, you can't. Okay, yeah, okay. Slash kill IE, right there, now that chat should be stopped. Oh yeah, we're gonna need our building block. Alright, good, good, good. Oh yeah, most important thing, to clear the weather, I'm gonna have to do it. Oh yeah, have you noticed they added skulk blocks into the creative menu? Skulk blocks in the creative menu, the stuff coming in the wild up there. Alright, I'll start building it here. Now. I remember, oh, for fuck's sake, my mother's calling my sister now. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's right, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. There. Change that. Yeah, I'll put my disc in. Yeah, I'll just put the disc in. Other side, here we go. 
new favorite music disc, Pog. Right. What we do is all that. Three on either side with obsidian as well. This is so like, oh yeah, slime and honey blocks. I forgot to grab those. Can you just grab slime and honey block and throw it into my inventory while I build this? Three, three. If I can remember all these timings without going back to check, you, you, all of you owe me a subscribe. Right, like that. I don't have a PlayStation, so I can't check the tutorial unless I pull out my phone. And you'd know if I'm checking the tutorial, because I'd be constantly stopping to look at it. Honey and slime I need. Alright, just, uh... Throw it here. Alright. That should be good. Can you stop doing that? It's messing up the show, All right? Um, now yeah, what? I think. Alright, I think I know what's up next. It's either. Yeah, it's this. It's this stage. Oh, yeah, guys, remember, you gotta make them opposite of each other, because if you make them the same, it won't work. They'll just start sticking to each other, and that'll cause a whole issue with the redstone. So don't go like this. It's got to be exactly the same pattern I'm doing here. Otherwise, you're gonna have issues. It's six by six. The old six by six. Now, if I remember correctly, it should be these, either side of these. This is just getting ready for when the thing is. Right. That should be good. Ah, quick buy on my sandwich, you know how it is. Now. Can I remember how to do this? <laughs> Alright, this is both on four tick. Then there was a three tick here. Nah, three tick here. There was a one tick there. Alright, I'm gonna go over and check it. Oh, right, yeah. Forgot that. <laughs> yeah, three tick away from the door. That was right. Uh, stage of the plan, I forgot. When do what? Right, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot that stage. See, I'm no expert. I know I make bold claims like this, but I am... For fuck's sake, my mom just can't shut up, can she? Alright, should be looking like that. Let me add these. Maybe? So it should be looking like this. Yes. And then I think I can do this part on my own. I keep saying that, and then I just forget how. Oh yeah, I forgot to even give myself torches. Ah, there she goes again, calling me. I'm ignoring her this time. She has called me too many times. She she has lost her privilege to call me up. Yeah, these should all be turning off. These should all be turning on. And the first ones away should be like like this, and then fucking move, you big ass slime. Then, like, that, I think. Oh, wait. Right? I gotta be right about this. Right, going over to check it. <sighs> she, she just doesn't shut up. So the first two, and then we connect these two, three to it. First two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Always am. Always will be. <laughs> uh, right. Wait, that doesn't look right. 
That doesn't look right. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is not. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Alright, see, I am no perfectionist at redstone. Some people think this is cool. Right? Yeah. That looks exactly right. Well, that's what we're hoping for, you see. Alright. <laughs> oh, jeez, I gotta remember all this. Alright. Yeah, I will just keep going back to it. <laughs> oh, right. Uh. Huh. Well, yeah, none of us are up there. Someone else is just AFK up there. If we're all the way down here, none of them are just gonna spawn. Yeah, I've definitely messed this up. Never mind, chat. I can't do the 6x6 six six off my heart. I've definitely messed something up. This just does not look right. Eh, whatever. YouTube. I literally cannot. Uh... Same as what it is on here. Alright. Yeah, I think that's it for the redstone stream. I can't really explain too much. Alright. Because I can't even build the 6x6 six six off by heart. I, I think I'm doing it right, but... I'm definitely... No, it's one word. No, oh, I am definitely doing something wrong. Cause that, that shouldn't be looking like that. Huh. Well, that's the end of a 37-minute stream explaining a bit of redstone to everyone. And then just recommending Curry Can anyway, because he's a lot better explaining than I am. Yeah, I'll put the name in chat. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like that. So yeah, chat, I think that's gonna be the end of the stream, and maybe I'll just go in the survival world right now. I kind of give up on my survival world now. I can't. I can't fucking do anything on it. I literally like. I can't go past two thousand blocks. Otherwise, the world corrupts and kicks me from it. Because it was before the new update. I made that world like long before, and it, it was already a big world. So. And that just adds all the bottom stuff to it, so... It's just not looking good, so I th Yeah, all, all game, all streams are like that. You know that, right? So we're gonna go over quickly every door. Just, like, go through each one. But, like, an explanation, like, I open them, walk through and show you what it's like. 
Any doors that I haven't explained in this video, you probably want to go to Curry Kings. That's where I learned every single one of these. And if you want to mix in the buttons, just use this thing. I'll show you how I added it. We'll break down here. See this, the dab voice, and then... Yeah, I know. I don't get views, man. People are gonna watch, eventually. Uh, and this door, same premise, thing underground for the button. How it should work is, these will pull down either side. Uh, these will pull back and so will these. And you just go ahead and press it. And how this works is, these are normal pistons, literally just a normal piston, like on the first 2x2 two two door I showed you all. These are just four pistons going across, getting powered. Same up here. And this is a double piston extender. See how it pushes the pistons plus the block forward and then the up ones get activated. Double piston extender. I haven't built a 5x5 five five yet, but I totally could because Curry Kane has a video up of it. I was going to build it the other day, but I didn't. Alright, how this one will work is it will pull back twice and then do a little zipper, going like that. Zipper, very cool, and then how it'll close it, it'll just close three times. So one, two, three. There we go, fully closed. I'll open it up for you. I even built this on the SMP I play on. Oh, I have two people watching, let's go. Yeah, it's the Denizen SMP. He is a good streamer. It's like 700 subs. And I built this in his survival SMP. So that's two for me. Oh, there we go. Now it's gone back down to one. Yeah, so that's that. And speaking of survival, I might hop onto a survival web right now. Maybe the one I'm playing on, because there is one more drive and showed off there. There is the 3x3 three three on that world, but I'm... it's a bit different, okay? Yeah, yeah, shoo, shoo. I'm just gonna hop into the world real quick. Basically, why I've given up is a couple of things. I can't go past like two or three thousand blocks, otherwise the game will crash. Because it's a huge world. Um, I lost all my items on it, not because I died of bullshit, it's because I died to bullshit, which was a hacker. He literally had no armor and an enchanted wooden sword, which I found weird. And he just hit me with it once and I died, even though I was in full netherite enchanted. Made him give it back, but I got nervous while he was giving it back that he was going to kill me again, so... Just before he finished giving it all back, I kind of kicked him, so I don't have it all all back. I have most of it. Like my elytra, pickaxes, trident. Yes, you can probably see why this world is going to get corrupted. Yeah, we've done a lot of things on it, like, kill the wither. Yeah. So you know I saw this couple houses, not just my one, which is this one. Two people watching again. Alright, come over here, I wanna show you what I've nice built. Red smile. Thank you, Denizen. He is here, it's Denizen, it's the man himself. I was I was just I was just promoting you, bro. <laughs> Casually promoted him. Anyway, come over here. It's the redstone builds are in here. Those doors behind you. <clears throat> so you've got this little storage room here. Like each layer of my house. You can hear villager noises, there's a good reason why don't you what the fuck are you doing? And down here we got the slaves. You leave the house. Okay, I got you. Uh, yeah, these villagers will uh, give you mending and stuff. Yeah, they do. Anyway, let's leave the slave trade. I've got like three layers of just straight villagers. Each with a good purpose. Still. Alright, uh... This is a cool house. It just looks pretty shit because it's just random shit spammed in it. Like, don't tell me you don't think this like duality floor is cool. 
It's got like the light and the dark. Sandstone with basalt. These sick fucking walls that I like. The ceiling is even good. Who fucking puts effort into ceilings? Not me, but I did here. Also, where the fuck? Why have you gone down the ice path to Alfred's house? It's my friend. Uh, Denison knows it is not wild. Ice path for speed! Oh, why don't I have a cool house like on the SP? My house is cool on. Look, it is. He, yeah, he literally just put ender pills on them and didn't even put any in it. Yeah, after I lost all my stuff, I just started working on a new set, and then he gave it back, so I was like, oh, fuck, what do I do with this old set? So, um... Oh, yeah, this is a redstone device I haven't really explained, because it's... I mean, it has redstone in it, but could you really call it a redstone device? Do you have any end pills on you? But just steal one of those ones, because I want to show you this too, so... If you're still watching my stream, I should be able to show you how to do it correctly, how to use that device correctly. Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate live in game and out on the stream so you can watch, and I'll show you how it works. I took two. I know I'm IRL, he won't fucking care. <laughs> Alright, uh, stand back. How did this work? This is called an enderpearl stasis. Alright, I'm going to take my shield off. Look on the stream. Look exactly where my crosshair is. Try and line that up when you try to do this. So, like, in between the fence, that's why that fence is there. Exactly there. And then you fire it and run, so you don't fucking touch it. Alright, I'm just gonna start flying away, and then activate it when I say- Why the fuck did you activate it? I was gonna act say activate it when I say. Fucking useless bro. Alright, whatever, there you go. That's how it works. Teleports you in. There you try. And just start running away once you've got in. You have to do it- No, you have to go on the slime block- uh, honey block and crouch and get on the very, very corner of it. As far as you can go back- right, run away from it so you don't touch it right there. And just start running off. As far as you can go. And... Straight back here. Oh no! Go look at my- Get out. Just swim, just swim. Use the swim mechanic and then go up! There you go. Bro, you silly. I wiss. I don't even know. Oh wait, uh, where was this even placed? Like, here? Here? Yeah, I don't even know. Yes, yeah, so that's how the end of pill stasis. Alright, can you stop fucking stealing my shit? Alright, just follow me then. Listen and follow me. Jesus Christ. You're like a uh, autistic child who just did a line of sugar. Alright, so I'm trying to show off the redstone here. Okay, so, uh, first thing, we got the storage sorter, which you saw in the creative world. I've also done it in the survival world. And you can actually get a good look in the back, thankfully. So, you see how the comparators connect to those. When it powers up, it deactivates these redstone torches. So, let's get out of here now. Don't fucking touch any of it. Going for dinner if you... If it, when I'm done, I'll be then it's dot dot dot. What what is read out that comment to me, please? You can be my little help. <clears throat> Open up the live chat. Click on the stream, and there should be live chat. Whatever, I'll just do it from my phone. Whatever. Cringe. My videos. And it's not even sure that I'm live. I got a copyright claim on one of my videos recently. Why the fuck did you punch this? Bruh. Alright, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, Dennis and I can't read the comment. Anyway, come over here. Basic wall, right? Wrong. Do it.
we defeated the dragon and obtained the egg and brought it home. Yeah, that's from the Iron City. Anyway, done to... Now there's one more door. Uh, we have to see that little those deep slate bricks down there. We have to jump down there. And then go to the elevator that's down this way. Now, I haven't really put anything behind this door down here. Because I don't know what to put behind it, but yeah. Do the honors and watch the door. This is the door here. Trapped! JK. Hey, don't go behind it! That's the redstone. Please don't touch anything. Ah, oh, you're super trapped. Alright, don't fucking touch anything. Why are you going further in? Come the fuck out! I oh, it's just about a wall bucket. Alright. Uh. Move out the way. Stand on. Alright, I'll just drop blocks onto you. Let's jump. There. Should be able to. Up here, up here. There. We're out. So, like, do you like that spiral? I haven't really thought of anything back there yet, but it could be pretty cool. What do you think of this whole little area? You're literally not going to be playing on here ever again, I doubt it, so... Anyway... Come on up! What are you doing? No, I'm not, I don't trust you down there on your own. Come on up. Yeah, I have plenty of stuff you can have, but I doubt you're going to be on here ever again, so... Maybe like once or twice in the future. I mean, I have like a full set here that I started enchanting and didn't finish it. I just have a random elytra in my chest, like it's discarded loot. Like a whole elytra in a chest for no reason. I took it out and put it in my- yeah, I took it out, obviously. Why would I just leave that there? Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, there is farms I have on this world, like redstone farms. So over here we have- uh, this is recently- well, I feel like it's recently, but it's definitely not. This is the team board. Everybody who's been on this world- I did not build this, a friend did. Me, my sister, Friend, no friend, 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 everyone. I don't know. I think I just randomly had it in my inventory and I just placed it down for no fucking reason. Hey, follow the path, bro. Follow. Shut up. Ah. Uh. <laughs> this is. See, this was the priceless, and there used to be more to it, but look what happened. Somebody placed a sign saying, sorry, date, and a creeper exploded. I was like, replace it, anonymous. Fucking replace it, then. Replace my fucking signs. I forgot what prices I even had. That shop didn't sell well. That's... Yeah, thank you. I saw it on a Dan TDM video, so I did it. Alright, so then I became a corporate. After that shop didn't really sell well, I... Made this, read the signs if you will. Only si Like any sugar cane, it's a sugar cane farm. Dentons. That's, that's like for monthly VIP and you can just take as many as you want from the, an AFK device. You can literally just slap yourself there and not touch the controller. Uh, 
All right, and over here we have the only f the final farm I built. I haven't built any since then. The melon farm. Here's the chest. It does make a pretty decent amount of melons. I could build more, but I don't. It's just a little area. Yeah, I, c I know there's a lush cave over there, but this is a copy of the world. In another copy, I flew over that way, and, uh, well, got screwed over. I found a lush cave, was coming home, and the, the game corrupted. So I vowed to not really leave the village. I only come here for a sentimental value. Or to upgrade this general village area. That's my horse. They, these all used to be, like, pens or color-coded sheep. But a wolf spawned in and killed all the sheep, so I just gave up on the sheep thing. Yes, friend's house. Very cool looking house. Oh shit, sorry. Yeah, it's a trident. It's very, very powerful. Big fork. I can give you the tour of this friend's house. Very lovely. Secret. We got a little farm here with very nice walls. I love these walls. And then this area down here, I basically built on my own. Basically, most of it, like the floor, the redstone part of these chests, and this wall was done by me. Oh, that's just a cave for the exit. Come up, come up by you. Get, get out the fucking cave. I can tell you're still swimming through the cave. Get the fuck back here. <laughs> I've showed you this area for you. I know. You can tell this was built by me, because if you'd look over here. Like, right there where I'm punching. In the direction. The creeper face. Yeah, basically I had these chess workers. You put stuff in the top one, it'll organize it for you. Into the bottom. So you can just put everything into the top and it'll organize it. You stop fucking going for my friend's stuff. I don't I don't know how much this nether at Stewart would do, but yeah. Basically a person who was German English, like German but knew how to speak English. Well follow me. This German player who knew uh who knew English, but was German. So all their stuff was in German. Because they stole from me, so I killed them in revenge and took all their stuff and it was all in German, like a netherit Stuart instead of a netherite sword. Yeah, like, uh, S-C-H-W-E-R-T. Skewert. That's like German. But, I mean, there is the... I was considering making a world eater and taking it to my netherite farm. Yeah. But there was like ice paths to go in into different places, like the stronghold, one to go to a blue forest, slash a woodland mansion. It's a very inefficient. Yeah, it's a woodland mansion, I can take you to it, it's far away. Actually, no, yeah, it's far away, it'll fucking corrupt the world, nah. So that staircase over there made out of dark. That staircase over there will lead you to the. Uh, stronghold. This staircase near us that goes up into the wall leads us to Netherite Farm slash uh, abandoned mine shaft. And that staircase way off there going up leads us to Blue Forest slash Woodland Mansion. Very inefficient Nether Highway. Do you like my Nether Port by the way? The way I made it like corrupting. See, I used Deep Slick styles like when it was new. That's how old this world is. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't turn off sooner. That's well, the ice path house. And this is just a hole I dug to bedrock. For no fucking reason. Hold on. How'd you not die? What the fuck? Here. Stay there, stay there, stay still, I can pull you up, I can pull you up. Go back onto that block you were just on. I'll pull you up now. Just stay, go into the middle of it, just drop down and see. I can just pull you back up now, I'll just pull you back up now. Ready? Don't just take the staircase, just come out into the middle of it so I can, I can just pull you up bro. It's all good.
Stay there. I can probably pull you up. Okay, I can't reach you. I'm gonna have to go down a bit myself. I sh should be able to reach you now. Stay there. You went away! I was literally about to hook you and pull you up. I will fucking pull you up. I built straight up to me. Come on up! <laughs> there we go, yes! Alright, uh... Alright, I you stay there and I'll pull you up from by here. Stay in here, stay down. Alright, I'll get up onto this hop. What the fuck? Why is it not hitting you? Why is this not- It just- I <laughs> know- There you go. The get over here fishing rod with them breaking three. Alright then, try one. It's my world, I don't know where- I don't know where everything is. Don't you dare. But you want it more! <laughs> but you want it more! <laughs> Where you at, boy? <laughs> oh no, I got. Alright, okay. I'll come for you. Okay, now I've just cucked myself. Okay, I'm stuck in here. I can go any way I want, no- As long as I get you in my sights, you're fucking dead. So am I. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? So you think. <laughs> right into the forest, young man. What's up? <laughs> you know, I could just equip my bow. You don't, you don't want to go in the water. You can't tell me. <laughs> I don't actually have my bow. He didn't give it back when he was giving back my loot shit. I had a really... It's <laughs> really... You're breaking all my carrots there, mate. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> yes, run! I miss. It's cool that it's on peaceful mode, because so you can change- <gasps> You broke my fucking carrots, mate! I'm gonna have to break your kneecaps for that one. Yeah, I heard. Yes! He ran backwards. Oh, hell no! How slow do you think I am? I'm already at the beacon, where are you at? What was that? <laughs> what was that? You were saying you, you were- you were boldly claiming this? Come back here. 
Ah, it totally is. I'm faster than the bridge. I'm actually faster than the ice bridge. If I use it... I can also get onto it using my elytra if I aim it correctly. Yeah, I'm not aiming it correctly. Where are you gonna go from here? There's just ocean! You were saying? Never! No, you ain't! Yeah, I can cheat and use my spacebar as well. More jumps! I can use X button and spacebar at the same time to get in front of you! <laughs> I can just use spacebar and X button at the same time. You better not, well, anger me. They fucking won't. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I, I just got it back, what do you mean? No. I thought you said you know. I'm gonna fucking throw an egg at you for that one. Egg! Yeah. <laughs> if you broke any of the glass, I will kick your ass. My axolotls. Where you running, boy? I could have killed you right there. I can kill you right now. I'm not gonna. Yo, I'm pulling out the fishing rod. Oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Just gonna have to. Don't have to. Oh, okay. I don't have a bow. I don't have a bow. I lost my bow. The guy didn't give it back. I thought I had it back. You can read it. You can die anyway. I can fly. Yeah, but now it hooks you. Tried to. Yeah, I didn't, because I can fly. Come back here. Totally a switch. Get the elytra, bro. What do you mean? You know, I, I told you where my fucking end port was. You can go there. Try again, elytra. It's peaceful mode, so you can easily get an elytra. Fuck. Well, this is how we die, I guess. What do you mean by that? I ain't even chasing you, I fell down the hole. I fell down the hole, remember? I glided. Saved myself, but I'm still down here trying to get out. We have two friends on this house. Oh wait, there's a fit. Oh wait, I know exactly where you are then. Yeah, fucking called it. Okay, you're not in there. Okay, I don't go near that house. I know exactly, I'm, I'm, I'm going over He said he's down here, he can't catch me then. That can only mean one thing, chat. That he's... Yeah, I still say, I still address the chat. Like, it's, it's the courteous thing to do, man. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Somebody ain't right.
your phones. Like a redstone tutorial video became into a manhunt video. <laughs> I literally don't know where you are. Oh, there you are. Found you. How sure are you of that claim? How... You weren't crouched. <laughs> you weren't crouched! Why'd you go in the water then? Also, I can swim faster than you. I have Death Strider. Where are you gonna go? I can literally- I- I could! I literally- I had two opportunities to kill you. Literally right there, I could've just killed you right down there. Oh, right here? Right here I could kill you? I could just tap once. Ooh, down. Oh, that's where we wanna go, down. Down to the open- You're not getting out. I won't let you. As soon as you- I'm pulling you under. <laughs> I won't let you place that, I'll just sit here with you. I have a trident. Getting away from me isn't going to be too easy now, is it? Especially in the water. I could kill you right now, I'm literally next to you. No! <laughs> oh, I can already get out, look. No. There we go, now you're out, I'm just gonna fly out. Better fucking melt. Wait, what melons? Do you have to break inside- You have to break inside the machine to do that, what? Oh, those melons. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> that was prototypes for the machine. Where have you gone now? In my house. I heard you open a door and then close it. I reckon I know exactly where you are. Right up there? If you're not in my house then... It might be. But you're just trying to distract me from going into my house and checking anyway. Uh, there's no way you could have gone into here fast enough, so I'm just gonna... You can see, you can check the stream and see where I'm looking and just move anyway. Oh wait, now I've given you that idea. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, you little cheater, and you're actually doing it. You little, you little cheater boy. Alright, I know exactly where you are then. Why would you go back there? Minecraft won't add inches to your car. Alright then. I don't I don't care about finding you. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> If you would check the stream for a quick second, you'd see what what little tactic I just used. So he's right here, apparently, around this area. Alright boys, rattle him. Also, why is my map, like, empty? Yeah, where are you? Not up there. Are you in a cave by chance? Confirm it now. Yes, you are. Okay, I know exactly where you are then. Alright. You probably turned your mic audio off for streams. My audio turned off the streaming. So uh, when other people stream, y your voice won't be heard on their stream. That's an option. I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> and also we're playing on different systems, so... Yeah. 
Yeah, I just found out you did. Ow. My ankles. There we go. Yeah, this is the cave I explored. You can see on the nether rack. Yeah, that's where I named my trident. Yes. Too bad in Bedrock it doesn't say what you were killed by, because every time I killed you it would be uh, you was killed by a big fork. Where the fuck are you then, little, you little fucking hipster? UAV deployed. That's not really, because you can just break blocks and hide in them. So. Alright then. Good luck staying there forever. <laughs> Try to break out. Yeah, I've set you in business so you don't strap to wherever you are. <laughs> if you're in a house, the door's probably closed and you're locked in. If you've dug yourself into a little hole and then blocked it off, then you're stuck because you can't mine blocks. Yeah, I know where you are. You're near that house over that way. Well, the map says so, so yeah. Crouching does not fucking stop a map. Don't know where you could be, to be honest. Was that a villager noise? Right. to my house, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, redstone. Oh, I give up. Yeah, I sleep and quit the world. Oh, fuck, I don't even know how to play now. I mean, I'm still streaming, so. Fortnite stream. Sure. Actually, just no stream. This is the end of the stream. Chat, goodbye. I hope you learned something from Redstone with that. And, uh, yeah, have a good one.